Welcome back, everybody. Woo! Hello. Dennis, what do you have to say to the people? Um, I love you guys. Aww. You guys are awesome. Aww. I know I, I, know I sound very tired right now, but it's just like... I'm... <laughs> Not... No, it isn't boring. I've just been like, st like stranded at home like for a while and haven't gotten out. You just got the summertime blues? Yeah, basically. I mean, yeah. it's August and stuff, so... Happens to everybody, man. The summertime blues is a classic, classic thing. When I was a kid, I got depressed during the summer all the time, and it's just because, like, I wasn't doing anything. Yeah. You know? And when you don't do something, like... When you don't do something regularly or have anything going on in your life for a while, you don't get, like, clinically depressed, but you get sad. You get a little sad. Just means it's just totally normal. Yes. It just means you're a fucking loser. <laughs> like me. <laughs> no, stop. I'm an autistic cuck. <laughs> oh, my God. An American! <laughs> Let's get him! <laughs> Alright, what we have to do is we have to, like... Hold up, where are the ghosts? Uh, you have to, like, get his waiters, otherwise they'll keep bringing him food. Uh, okay. So... Oh, there we go! Oh, I missed it. Yeah, basically... Oh, he's back already. Hold up. Yeah, because the kitchen's right in there. Okay. Where's the ghost? Uh, I think oh. he disappeared. Alright. Because, uh... Oh, oh, you motherfucker! Will you fucking... I, I don't think I can get him from uh, the side of the to, table. Yeah, you probably have to be over there. Bitch! Get him that back. took unnecessarily longer than it should have. But yeah, wage worker. me and Dennis were actually talking about how, despite this game being for kids, it is kind of scary at times, but there was actually a boss from this game that was cut because it was deemed too scary. Did they ever show you what it looked like? The- you- you remember like the place you're in before you fight Bulos? It's like the safari room? No, I don't. There's like a safari room with a bunch of like animals and stuff. Okay. And you were originally going to fight an undead hunter. And like he had like a rifle that he was gonna like fire at Luigi like during the boss fight and everything. And he always and he said shit like, I'm gonna decapitate you and like put your head on my wall. <laughs> or like I'm gonna like mount your head on my wall. Like you had to fight like a hunter. Like wow. a like a ghost hunter. Wow. And they deemed like that too like graphic or like too scary. Yeah, the game probably might have been like a rated T for team if that uh if it that was implemented? It would have been rated E10+. plus. Probably, yeah. But that wasn't a rating back then, so it would have yeah, yeah. probably been rated T. Because this game's from, like, 2001. Oh, yeah, yeah. True. Yeah, so this is, like, a mini-boss here. You just gotta wait for him to, like, keep shooting his mixtape at you. Ha, I made the joke again. Um... I wanna die! <laughs> I wanna die! <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> I, how am I, I don't wanna go on Biggest Loser anymore. Physical exertion is exhausting. Come on, I don't wanna fuck- Get here, you fat yes. fuck! Yes! Oh yeah, I always forget that boss is optional. Oh, but not to get the boo, though. Yeah. You still have to get, the, like, the boo. Because when it's a green chest, it means it's optional. Like, oh, okay. it's just money that you get. Nothing else. Okay. Not a key, it's nothing that progresses the story or anything. There's, just some- Just some sparkly. There's hardly any story in this. You know what I meant. Advances yeah, the yeah, game. Yeah, yeah, Advances yeah. the but game like, is what I meant. Even, like, just Mario games in general. Yeah. The plot's, like- Almost non-existent. Yeah, they're they're just it's about simple platforming yeah. pretty much. Which I you know, that's fine because it's Nintendo. They do it well. Like at least, you know, like at least the gameplay's fun enough where like you don't give a shit about that. Yeah. Come on. Come on. How many HP did this guy have? He's fine, he's fine. Check out what I'm gonna do. Aha! I'm gonna go over here and suck on him a little bit and bait him into the room. If you saw him nice. going in one direction, he's gonna run back into the other room. And now he's in a room with light, and he's gonna die now. Just bow to the master, who can't do the glitches to speed, <laughs> to speed run the game. He's almost a fuck up. Oh my! Shut up. <laughs> Alright, we're back in the kitchen, everybody. Just like, just like, this is where Luigi belongs, because he's a bitch! You think Shout out to misogynistic jokes. Good job, David. Actually, good question about that, because, like, you know in Paper Mario, like, um, the first part of the, uh, the game, like, you see, like, uh, his house, right? Yeah. I'm, like, wondering, does, like, Mario do anything in the house? Probably not. Is it just Luigi just, like, does all the cooking, the cleaning, probably all the shopping? I would definitely imagine it being Luigi. Right? But I don't know, because that's Paper Mario, and that's actually, like, confirmed a different universe. Oh, but I love Paper Mario. Than the regular one? Because, like, have you heard of Mario and Luigi Paper Jam? Was that in the 3DS yeah. game? Oh, no, I have It's yeah. You know the Mario and Luigi games, like those RPGs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The oh, third one, those are fun. The third one, like, has Paper Mario in it. 
Like, he joins your party. Like, oh, he's part of the party. Wow. It's actually a really sick game. I played oh, it. Wow. And so, it's actually confirmed a different universe. Mm -hmm. Like, the Paper Mario universe is a book that's in, like, the Mario universe. Like, the regular one. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, in that universe, they live together, but in this one, Luigi has his own house, apparently. <laughs> yes. <laughs> when, by entering a contest, he did not enter. <laughs> <laughs> that he was dumb enough to believe yeah. he won. That's like... That's like... The equivalent of getting spam in your email <laughs> and thinking that, oh, wow, I could save, um, a couple thousand dollars on this purchase. <laughs> like, wow, that lady does have really big titties. <laughs> I'm gonna click on it so I can get a lady with big titties, too. <laughs> because that's how life works. <laughs> it does seem like the kind of thing he would do. I mean, Luigi kind of proved that right? he- Luigi kind of proved that he was a moron. Luigi By, like, falling like, for this. Luigi is, like, the parents you have who, like, ask you to come look at their computer when they already clicked on the spam. <laughs> and they ask you, like, oh, like, can you help me, like, get rid of this? It's like, why would you click on it to begin with? <laughs> why? Alright, I think I gotta read this. It's well, written on the sign. sign. Here lies Mr. Bones. Be quiet. Oh. Hi, doggy. I just gotta, like, make a bunch of noise, or, like, the dog- Yeah, shit, 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 shit. Yeah, I have to get, like, this- There's, like, a grave here. I need to get this guy to pop out of it. And Do I have to, like, use the vacuum oh. to make a lot of noise or something? Or just have the dog bark a lot more? I always forget how to, like, trigger it directly. Here he is, here he is. Trigger- For the love of dirt, be quiet! I'll go pieces of meat at you. <laughs> that's what's gonna happen. Oh shit, I'm dead again. I think that's the worst part, if you're a ghost. If you're a ghost that has no skin. Like yeah, that's just- that's just like insult to injury. <laughs> At that point, right? <laughs> yeah. Come on, doggy. Oh, no, he's whimpering. It's not cool. Yeah. It's like Duck Hunt Dog, if you ever played Duck Hunt Dog against- uh, against a Duck Hunt in Smash Brothers? Why do you always suck in the mushroom? I- cause I'm dumb. I messed it up, okay? You messed like, it up. Like, if you fight Duck Hunt Dog in Smash Brothers, he's such an annoying character because he's so campy and focuses on projectiles and stuff. Yeah. If you kill him off the top, he goes, <laughs> Like a dog. Wait, do people actually use him competitively? Um... Somebody out there uses one character at once. He's like a low tier, but like, there's a player named I'm Hip. Who mains Duck Hunt? Yeah. Actually beat a guy named Tyrant, who's a really good Meta Knight player. So, oh, at 2GG. Oh, with Duck Hunt, yeah. So, but when you kill Duck Hunt off the top, it feels so bad because he just yelps like a dog. Yeah, and it's like, oh my Aww. god, I just hit a doggy. It's like, it's not cool at all. Like, I don't feel alright with that. Uh-huh. Yeah, I wouldn't either. Oh, yeah. Like, it's like... I mean, he's an annoying fucking asshole. The Duck Hunt dog. <laughs> he's always been an annoying asshole uh -huh. in the history the of video games. Uh-huh. Shit, oh my god, projectiles everywhere. Oh, yeah, getting a boner. You are the cleverest human. <laughs> Guys, I think David's having a stroke. So I actually might. Please call help. <laughs> Please. <laughs> this part of the game was honestly scary. Like, Bog... This is, uh, Bogmire. This is yeah. the second boss of the game. Yeah. Look at him, his face looks like some sort of really weird inverted vagina. <laughs> Doesn't it? He, he kinda looks like... What every woman's, like, toy... Like, would, if they were, like, fixed together... Oh, shit, like, I j I'm so sorry about right. that. I'm so sorry about that, uh, ladies and gentlemen. I just dropped the mic. Not in up, not in the rap sense. I just fucking the mic is on like a very precarious stand right now. Yeah. And I just kind of dropped it because I hit my knee against it. I have a really crappy desk. I apologize. Yeah. <laughs> what were maybe, you saying, Dennis? Maybe David should go invest in a new desk. This act, this was actually my sister's desk. I used to have a much smaller one. Oh really? Yeah. Oh. And but now I have a lot more legroom with this desk, which is oh, pretty cool. Thank God. Yeah. I mean, yeah. if you have a desk, I think like legroom is the one thing David should definitely look out yeah. for. Cause I, you, I, cause for those of you that don't know me, I'm like six foot five. <laughs> yeah, I always thought this boss was really cool. Like I always thought the app, the setting was like really cool because oh, it was yeah. like, it was like genuinely scary, to be honest. It's like you're just in like this hellscape, with like lightning and these fucking shadows chasing yeah. you. This is pretty creepy. Yeah, I think so too. I think this is definitely miles scary. The little kid that we fucked up in the beginning. What do you mean? Remember the baby? Oh yeah, then Chauncey. It's like. 
so much scary. Yeah, Bog Bogmire scared the fuck out of me when I was a kid, dude. It's such a it's a creepy name too. Yeah. But it's okay. I'm about I'm about to send him to the hellscape that is my vacuum cleaner, so no, nothing nothing to worry about. Let's go, Bogmire. You got places to be, buddy. Like the wall in Egad's fucking gallery. <laughs> You're going back to hell where you belong, you little motherfucker. <laughs> so, dude, I, I just realized that's just like a voice that people do. That's just Filthy Frank. Hi, guys. <laughs> Welcome to the Rice Fails, motherfucker. <laughs> hey, boss. <laughs> that's such a messed up thing to say. He has, he intentionally has that voice. Yeah, I know, I know. Of like, as if he smokes like 20 packs a day. Oh my god, I remember a video he was doing where he was reading his hate comments. And it was oh, so funny because I needed because he didn't mean it when he said it, but he just oh. like he was so like he pretended to be so upset. He's just like guys, <laughs> it's like guys, I literally want to die. <laughs> like I want to kill myself. I'm so depressed. Oh god, <laughs> like, it was I, so funny. I actually I love the man so much. Filthy Frank is pretty his, funny. His early works was a lot more social commentary. Yeah. Like because he always talked about how like he hated like. Virtually everything. Mm -hmm. He hated like um, girls, especially because I remember he was talking about how like <laughs> something along along the lines of like you know like it's like oh yeah like you know like you you know how much they love those Starbucks yeah man Starbucks <laughs> and like he also just went off on veganism too that was like hilarious I remember he was like saying like was, like yeah man going to buy those seventeen dollar carrots <laughs> oh yeah. So worth it. <laughs> oh shit, wow, you got that much? Yeah. You get more, like, depending on what every area you're in. Yeah, Bogmire, my god. So... He was creepy. Mr. Lung... Because what even was Bogmire? Oh. Like, look at these people. Like, these were all clearly humans. What is he? What was he? Maybe he was, like, literally, like, a primal form of a ghost. That might be possible. He, like, he just might have just always... Maybe he's a demon. Like, he yeah, might just yeah. be, like, a demon or something. Because, like, maybe these people, like, passed away, like, probably recently? Perhaps? Yeah. And then... Well, actually, no, they, these were Egad's ghosts, so they might be older than that. Because yeah. then they, like, built the mansion just so they could have a place to yeah. live. You know what would be a good game? What? If they did a game where Egad was younger. Oh, my God. Right? And yeah. He, he's, like, an inventor in, like, the in the current universe. If they did, like, a game on the backstory of Egad, Dude, that'd, be, that'd be sick. People have said the same thing. Ego Raptor actually said the same thing about a Punch-Out game for Doc. Ooh, like wow, like yeah. about Doc like rising and coming to the champion because he was the world champion too, uh -huh. and a game like that oh that'd be so sick. I think they should do that. They should. Would that would honestly be a really good idea. I mean, it wouldn't add to the plot too much, but it would just be like you know, Egad in and of himself. I will grant him this. He is some of an of an interesting character because like throughout some of the games like you saw a lot of his inventions. Yeah. Fucking yeah, and like in Partners in Time, Mario and Luigi yeah. Partners in Time, like he was in that game too, had a lot of inventions, was really cool. And Super Mario Sunshine. The fucking paintbrush that baby Bowser uses is was made by him. I didn't get that reference when I was a kid. Oh, you didn't? Went, oh, went right over my head. I did not get that because I was too young. I just didn't get that that was made mm -hmm. by Ega just because of the symbol. Yeah. It's like, he's done... Like, this guy probably makes nukes and probably doesn't even know it. Like, <laughs> what, e -cat? Yeah, like, he's like, oh, I'll just make something. Oh, on to the next. And, like, somebody <laughs> steals it and is like, I'm gonna bomb you with this. And then it's, like, literally a missile with e face on it. I'm surprised they haven't done more with e -cat Right? Than just having him have occasional appearance in other games. Because he's a cool character. Yeah. And, like, someone who I feel like definitely deserves a game in and of himself. Yeah. Like, for himself, really. Like, yeah. Like, him when he was younger. Mm -hmm. That definitely would be impressive. I mean, they did show him when he was younger. In Partners in Time. Like, in Mario oh, Luigi wow. Partners in Time, Fuck. they go to the past, and, like, they saw he was, like, an inventor working on a mountain or something. Oh, then I need a scientist. But that wasn't, that wasn't the only part of his life. He's an old man. Yeah. So, oh, alright. On that note, uh, that's us talking about Egad. I mean, who knows? Something, that thing on my wall just fell. Don't know how that happened. Uh, Spooky Ghost playing Spooky Ghost game. Who doesn't like Kid Icarus? I don't know. That was like a little Kid Icarus thing that fell off my wall. I forgot what I was saying already. Uh, bye guys. I'm scared. <laughs>